Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Heat. We are starting our first episode of Season 2. So what does that mean? What season? Well, I d decided that the seasons would rotate around the seasons in the game. And since it is now summertime, June 2nd, in the game, um, that means that it's Season 2. So, um... The first thing I noticed when I logged in, today's kind of a bad example since it's raining outside, but the first thing I noticed when I logged in is I was way overheated. I had indicators going crazy, and it's because my outfit is has 66% resistance to cold. And uh, that was a problem because it was very hot outside. So I spent the evening, the game evening, working on uh, some things here I took. Uh, the thread that we had created earlier and create a loom and uh, research some clothing options and I discovered that really there's not that many clothing options for less than 66 percent cold resistance and in, in fact there's really only three that I could find right off the bat um, one of them I'll just take a look here it's under this tab We'd have to research a little bit, which isn't so bad. I mean, we could, right? We could get some bone and some sinew. Oh, level up, yay. Um, and we could get, uh, you know, some hide and, and so on. Um, and get to the point where we get to this rancher outfit here. 44% in uh, both heat and cold resistance. Um, which might not be a bad option. Honestly, what we need is... I mean, we could do this bone outfit that's only 10 gold and 70% heat resistance but it's, it's a shaman outfit you know what let's try that let's uh what does it take 32 bone 7 sinew so let's go take a look at that uh, take some money out i also want to do some treasure hunting i've got a whole bunch of treasure maps um, I'm hoping we can get through uh, a few of these anyways, but I got a little distracted with this uh, this outfit. As you can see here, I've got a couple other outfits to try on. Uh, see, what did we say it was? Bone and sinew. Oops. Um, would require 32 bone and 7 sinew plus whatever we need to actually craft it. Let's just see what it looks like. I'm, I'm curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy like 100 bone. And I'm pretty sure I've got the sinew, but just in case, just because I don't want to waste anybody's time. All right, got our bone, got our sinew. Let's get our research done here. Yep. Okay, uh, let's head on up to the loom and see if we can make that outfit here. Lots, you know, you know lots still to unlock, but yep, oh yeah, plenty of. So that might might not be a bad option. I mean, it's better summer attire. It's not really my style, I guess, you know. But uh, while we're waiting for that to, to build, let's have a look at some of the other options here. We're not going to do the cow the cowboy outfit just because it's going to take too much to research, and you know we have these other two options here. So option one would be a mariachi outfit. Option two would be a prisoner outfit. Now. As you can see, it's 44% uh, across the board for the mariachi outfit, 22% uh, cold resistant, 66% heat resistant for the prisoner outfit. Um, so, I mean, arguably better, uh, but let's just try them on. So, let's try the mariachi outfit on first. Okay, it's not too bad. I, I don't know how to turn the camera so that we can kind of see it from both sides, but... Yeah, not bad. I mean, you know, it's respectable. Let's see how the prisoner outfit looks. Okay. Um, I mean, I am the governor, right, of America, <laughs> apparently. So, um, you know, I don't think I'll be mistaken as a prisoner. I do kind of feel like this outfit makes my butt look big, though. What do you think? I don't know. That's, that's unflattering. Um, let's see if this is ready yet. It is. Okay. We'll just try this one more thing. Let's see if that's any better. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, um, I really do wish I could see it from the, the front. Um, maybe I'll find a way to turn the camera at some point, but why, why do I have a tail? I have a, I have a tail. I mean, arguably the best all-around, you know, outfit for the summertime, I guess. It's well ventilated. But I think for the sake of this episode and saving what dignity I have left, I'm going to go ahead and go with the, uh, the prisoner outfit. Actually, no. Wait. Do we already have the dusty cowboy outfit? I thought it was... Mistaken. What was I thinking of? Rancher outfit is what I was thinking of. But that's still, we, we're not going to get that. So, instead, we'll do the mariachi outfit. So, and we'll, oops, uh, and we'll see, uh, yeah, 44%. That's, I mean, it's just as good as the, uh, as the rancher outfit. Um, and it's not really half bad as far as look. So, I think we can live with that. Um, if it gets too hot, we have our other options. I'm just going to see if I can fit them in here. We have a little excess cotton, because honestly, we we didn't even finish all of the cotton that we got spinning um, on one of the previous episodes before it ran out of space. It, st it was still spinning it when I took these thread spools off. Um, let's see if we can fit them all in there. Okay. Nice. All right, so I'll just sell the excess cotton, and we'll come back for the the tail is hilarious. I'm not sure it's worth having a tail, but all right. So let's move forward here. Um, sell the excess cotton. Uh, we do have crops to to collect, but I don't want to stop and do that today. You can always do that offline. We'll do uh, uh, some gem popping later too. I want to stow some of this excess cash because we don't really need to carry it all and I kind of want to know just how much we end up getting. Let's, let's go ahead and stow the excess sinew as well and the bone. Okay, so we got some tools, some basic tools. We I am going to bring my rifle just in case we run into any danger. We also have the, the bow's backup. Um, so let's have a look and see... Um, where some of these are. We know this one was the fine treasure map that we had discovered uh, in one of the previous episodes um, and for some reason can do it again. So I'm not going to argue with that. Let's see if we can show this one on the map. So that one is way up north. Okay. And what I learned from the last experience here is that if we um, if we're careful, of course I have a lot more maps now. Um, let's try taking this one out. That's just going to get confusing. Um, okay, I know what I'll do. Uh, let's see, so probably, it's probably that one. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's even further away, but it's it's blue, so that's awesome. Um, okay, good to know. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So, five. Alright, that's a, at least it's a little bit, I mean, the, the original blue was over here, so that one's a little bit closer plus. Um, it's, you know, the other one's also blue, so we're going to make some money on this one. Okay, uh, how about six? Let's see where six is. Uh, I think that was no. That's a new one. That's that's a new one. It's green. Uh, it's a new one. Okay. So let's see here. So we got those. At least those are all special, so we can keep track of which ones are which. That was the part that I was getting a little confused on before. Okay. Let's try these next ones here. Okay. That's just up the street. It's not far at all. Five. Ooh. Ooh. A purple one. That's nice. That's down there 
tombstone, but that I am excited about that. That's great. And then let's see, six. Um, I think okay, it's right here. So that's really just down the road there. So I think we'll probably hit those those two first. I want to get the uh, the white ones first, just because you know they're not uh, not as exciting, I guess. Okay. So I think that's all of them. I'm just going to double check these ones that don't have a uh, I'm just going to make sure there we go okay I'll just double check these oops Showing map okay five okay six Oh, another purple one. So that's nice. Two back-to-back -back real close to each other. So, all right. So I'm going to pause the video and head to our first objective. I want to try to get as many of these done as possible. Hopefully, we can get through all of them. But I'm going to try to do them from lowest to highest, which is not going to be very efficient in terms of travel. So bear with me on that. But uh, I'm going to pause the video, and we'll pick up at the, uh, the first location. I should be right about here. All right, first treasure map done. That's weird. It looks like a pile, <laughs> looks like a pile of cash there for a second. Uh, okay. So we got a miner's helmet. That's funny. And iron chest. That's it. Okay. So on to the next location. And that one's going to be up the road a piece. I'll just run up that way. See you in a bit. Excellent. Let's see what other kind of goodies we got. Alright, more shotgun shells and a break action double barrel shotgun. Very nice. What was that? Great sand. <laughs> so it's worth 12 cents. Nice. Okay. Two down. Let's keep going. Pause again. Head on to the next objective, which let's see. I guess if we... I don't want to go for the white one and then double back to the green one. So I'm going to do... Where are some of the other ones? That one's like way out of the way. So I think what I'll do is I'll head for this green one. We'll do a little bit out of order. Then we'll do the white one. Then we'll lose this blue one. Uh, then I'll have to, you know, run all the way down to that other blue one. So uh, I'll let you know when I get there. Let me see. Um, I think it's the next. It's really okay. Yeah, just a little bit further in. It makes me wonder though, see how it has that purple marker? Oh hey. Wow. I feel like this might be broken. Because <laughs> I, th I think I just found a purple treasure chest uh, without mm, realizing it. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I'm, I'm very confused. That seems significantly better than what I would have expected, but I, I, I could be wrong. Maybe I was just close enough. I don't know. It's confusing. Anyways, another steel wood cutter's axe. So that's awesome. That means that I'm going to be able to get rid of my iron uh, axes altogether. So that's great. Uh, fine iron pickaxe. I'll use a spare or just sell it. Another box. Nice. All right. That makes me wonder, though. Nope. I don't think that means anything. Okay, fair enough. I got a grasshopper though. Um, okay, onward to the next objective. Oops, I just dig again. Okay, I'm gonna pause and head on up. You don't have to be on the money, that's for sure. All right, cleaning up. We're gonna have a fortune. I think we'll just retire. Uh, let's see. All right, so we got a superior iron throwing knife. You know, I've never actually tried to throw a knife in this game before. I'm gonna try that out. And a big, large, uh, large crate. Very nice. All right, so we got some of the the smaller ones done. Now it's on to the good stuff. Let's see. We have two blues and two purples remaining. And I am just, I cannot wait to get to that purple. All right, so uh, heading up the up the mountain now. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit further north is the way to go. Maybe right around here. A little bit further. Um, maybe we can do it right here. Let's see. Six. Oh, yeah. See, I, I think it's hard for me to understand exactly what that outline means, right? Because this should be a blue chest, not a purple chest. We got a purple outline for a green chest. I'm not sure if it matters at all, but we've gotten green outlines before. I just don't know what that means. All right. Wow. Uh, so you guys didn't get to see the uh, the blue chest the first time I got one. That was like five grand right there. Let's see what's in this one. Oh yeah. All right. So we got uh, another steel woodcutter's axe. Plenty of ammo. Pistol ammo. Lever action shotgun. Okay, or lever action rifle rather. Okay, so we have a bolt action. That's a lever action, which is. I think an upgrade, so that's great. Uh, large chest, fine copper hoe, and break action revolver. So, very nice. Oh, grasshopper, that's cool. Okay. Here, you know what? I kind of want to play with my gun. Um, what? Nice. Okay. I wish there were more animals. Oh, cool. Nice little uh, reload animation. Very nice. Okay. I don't want to waste all my pistol ammo, though. I'll, I'll, honestly, I'll probably just sell that. I don't see us using a pistol for anything. I kind of want to see the shotgun in action, too, though. And let's try the, the throwing knives while we're at it. There's the shotgun. Let's try that first. That's awesome. Oh wow, I collected stone with the shotgun. I did not expect that. That's neat. Okay. Here's a throwing knife. Yeah, I collected it with that too. <laughs> I got one stone. Okay. Oh, we won't waste them. We'll, uh, I'll sell them probably. I just wanted to see it work. Um, Alright, so let's see. We have... Oh, I guess that's the boundary. You can't go out of bounds. So we have to be careful of that. Uh, Alright, so I have a very, very long trek ahead of me to get all the way back through Washington. You know what I'll do is I'll, I'll when I get around here, uh, we'll take this opportunity to do a quick tour of Washington since I'm passing through anyways. And then we'll head down to Tombstone. So I'm going to pause the video, head that way. See you in a minute. Okay. Um... You can see Washington in the distance, but there's a big river here. I oh, hey, there's the bridge. <laughs> okay, I was a little confused when I got here, and I was like, well, how am I supposed to get across? I th okay, that makes sense. It just hadn't loaded yet. That's funny. Okay, so we're almost there. I just wanted to show you that because I, I was really confused there for a moment, and I didn't want to miss it. So, uh, running around in a mariachi outfit with a miner's hat on, heading to Washington as governor of America. That, that's something you don't say every day, that's for sure. Alright, almost there. Oh, it's starting to rain. This is good, the rain is great because while we're out treasure hunting, we're not tending our farm, but... It looks like nature's taking care of that for us, which is fantastic. I cannot wait until we get uh, sprinklers because, you know, I've got the three watering cans, three iron watering cans, and a single bucket. And uh, to give you an idea, the field that I plowed was pretty big, maybe a little, a little ambitious, but it, uh, it takes more than two trips. So I've got to fill them up, water, Go fill it up again, water, and then I gotta fill it up just a little bit more to finish the full, uh, the full thing. So it's, it's you know, it's a lot of work, and I, I really just can't wait till I get sprinkler so I can kind of set it, and forget it. So I don't think it's gonna rain much throughout the summertime. 
But here we are. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit because I know that it's going to be loading graphics and that might cause the the frame rate to drop a little bit. So I'm just going to walk into town and we'll take a quick tour of Washington. So we have a nice uh, set of statues, the lion statues. Those are kind of neat. It's pretty big. Oh, there's a whole, whole bunch of statues over there. Uh, this is a cool little horse. That's nice. Alright. A lot of patriotic American flags everywhere. It's lovely. There's no people though. Oh, of course, as soon as I say that, they come out. Like on cue. Let's go talk to one of them. Hey, baby. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. And chat. Oh, excuse me. Brad. Happy to see you. Oh, that's cool. Okay. How about uh, soccer Brad here? Howdy. Nice. Alright. Friendly folks. There's a weird little lion or something. It seems confused. Right, it's got this confused look on its face. Like, wh what am I doing in Washington? Uh, Alright, uh, what's this? I feel like I can run it. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that... Is that a panther? That's another very odd statue to be in the middle of little DC but okay and I hear uh, horses on like cobblestone streets but I can't I don't see any yeah, I hear a horse whinny I think it's just the soundtrack of the the area to kind of make you feel like you're immersed in a busy town I'm not sure they've succeeded there We'll head over to the uh, the monument because it's kind of in, on our way. Uh, I don't take too much of your time looking at buildings in an empty town, but I thought I'd show it off. Oh, this is cool. What is this? 1901. Uh, Alright. I don't know what that building's supposed to be. Is it a, is it a church, yeah? Okay. Alright, well, let's keep going. So, let's see. To give you an idea of where we're at, we're just inside Washington. we got to head down there. Let's head on down. I want to bring you up to the uh, the monument and show you that, and then I'll probably pause long enough to get to the final blue chest. So this is also where you would go if you wanted to become president. In fact, let's take a quick little detour inside the building to show you that part. Because that's kind of neat. And then for some reason it gives you the plot of land behind uh, the, the, uh, the White House. Um, I, I don't know why. I guess you could build on it. But again, it's it's kind of like the governor's mansion where I don't know why you'd want to do that. Because somebody could just come in and take it from you. So I'm not sure that that's wise. But Alright, so here's the White House. And just like the real White House, uh, there's nobody here, and you can just walk in and take whatever you want. So, including the actual Oval Office. So this is cool. It's a nice little Oval Office there. And then you just, you know, just like the governor, you sit down in the chair and you become governor. Or there's, let's see, what does it say? So lift down lower water oh let's go see where it goes 
Does the uh, does the Resolute Desk actually do that in real life? Thing? That would be freaking cool. He's got his own swimming pool. That must be what the water is. Let's see. Uh, lower water. It is okay. So we have a a place to to trap our dignitaries and torture them. That's that's clever. Okay. Water back up in case I fall in. Let's have a look around. Um, I think, if I recall right, there's all this stuff. Uh oh. That bones? Alright. I, I did not expect to find a corpse in the White House, but um, I think if, if I remember right, it's been a while, but if you take the presidency, there's a bear. And it's, I think it spawns right down here, and you can, you can get it. But now you got to get it back out of here. And unless there's a new way to get out, the only way I could figure it out before, let's just take a look. Yeah. Okay, so we can go up these stairs, maybe. Let's see. Nope, that's locked. I mean, I, I suppose that if I were president, it wouldn't be locked. I could walk through. But um, what I did was I got on the, the horse and sat back up on the desk and just awkwardly... Oh, no, 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 no. Get up. I don't want to be president. Um, there we go. I want to stay governor. I don't... I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just... I don't want to lose the horse. I don't want to lose Alpo. I hope that didn't stick. Okay. Alright, I think we've wasted enough time in here. And there, I know there's some um, NPCs that also spawn. There's the tax vault. I can't open it because it's locked because I'm not the president. But if I could, then, the, you know, it would collect taxes and grab some of that money. But, I mean, as you can see with the treasure hunting, money's really not a, a, an issue for us. So, I wouldn't waste our time with that. Let's take a look at the, uh, the monument here up close. We're getting a little bit tight on time, but I want to have a look at this real quick. Maybe run a little long, it's okay. So, alright. There's the Washington Monument. And a podium, cool. So you can, like, you can, you can make speeches. Um, so this is really set up nice for like a role-playing event. Um, you know, like a role-playing server, so that's kind of neat. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause because I still got quite a journey to get up into these mountains here, and then I've got to go all the way to Tombstone. So I'm just gonna pause. We'll get this uh, next chest, and then we'll go from there. All right, should be getting close now. Let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, really close now. Let's see, maybe right about here. Yeah, a little bit further. So maybe up on this hill. Let's try here. Nice. Lots of money. Another like $4,300 there. Let's see what's inside. Ooh! A great steel ingot. Just one. <laughs> uh, we'll probably end up selling it, I guess. I, I don't know. Well, no. I don't know. Well, I'll we'll have to think about that because it's just going to be taking up space. Steel hatchet. Yeah, kind of anticlimactic, really. Um, but, alright. Treasure is treasure. Okay. Um, I have a long, long run all the way back cross-country to Tombstone for, to our final two destinations. Um, not sure which one I'll do first. I'll probably just do... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Um... I think I'll do this one first, because I can take the train tracks across and go up that way. So, alright, so I'm heading here. I'll see you in a minute. Alright. Should be... Should be here. Had a little bit of an incident. Wish I was recording at the time, <laughs> but I got attacked, and I ended up dying. Um, here. So I was really close. Uh, but happily, when you die... A, I've, I've said it to where uh, 
my belongings stay on my body, and then B, you can just spawn pretty much anywhere you want to along the railroad track, so I just walk back up from there. So that's what happened with that. Alright, so we have one of two purple treasure chests. Let's see what we got. Very nice. Not as much money as the uh, the blue for some reason, so I sure hope there's a, a lot of uh, good loot inside the chest. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, what's that? We got a legendary steel sledgehammer. That's cool. I don't think I'd ever make anything like that. Of course, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna use a sledgehammer. Actually, that's not really true. We uh, I, I do plan on making another building at some. point. So we'll use it, but certainly didn't need it. It says a heavy hitting weapon, so I guess we could also use it on a weapon. But uh, that's cool. Alright, what else have we got? Some more shells. Fine sawed off double barrel shotgun. That's cool. We'll try that out here in a second. Uh, let's see, lockbox, iron. So we'll probably, you know, sell some of that stuff. Legendary iron pickaxe. So we'll probably hold on to that. Maybe we'll just replace one of the iron pickaxes that we have. Um, Alright. So, I mean, not as useful as I was, I was hoping for, but we have one more to go. It's uh, not too far away here. It's just up. Uh, I'm going to have to swing wide to get around that, but it's, it's up here near the beach. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut down through town and head up to that. So I'll catch up with you in a moment at the final location. Oh, oh okay. So <laughs> we had a server save there. This cougar came out of nowhere. Let's see if I can get it killed here. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's a bold action. Maybe I should use a shotgun. Here, kitty, kitty. Ah. Reload. Okay. Go, 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 go. Almost got him. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> That was so close. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That was exciting. Um, and I I don't know if you noticed, but I'm out of shotgun bullets. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he noticed, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we've respawned, and I'm formulating a plan of attack, because that first cougar got us. And then this, uh, well, almost dead. And then the second cooter finished us off. Let's see, is this any better? Oh, yeah. Way better. Okay. That ought to do it. Uh, so I've got a bit of a trek here. I'm going to pause and see if we can find that cooter and get it killed. And then we'll get our last treasure chest. Okay. I'm right where I died before, I think. And I don't see, I don't see the cougar, I don't see the corpse of the other cougar, which is unfortunate. Oh, hey, a loot sack. Is that my loot sack? I... Okay, so that must be where I died. And I don't see the cougar corpse, that's totally unfair. But, at least I don't have a cougar to fend off, so we'll just have to keep our eye out for it. Let's see. Okay, so... <laughs> my goodness. This is definitely the, uh, the finale. Okay. We're really, really close. I think we're just going to go ahead and dig here and just take one last look around, make sure there's not anything that's going to come and eat me. Okay. There we go. Nice. Oh wow. 
Yeah, we got lots of money on that one. Lots of gems, that's all. Let's see what we got in the chest. Alright. Jeez. We got a uh, great steel sledgehammer. Steel pickaxe, that's nice. We replaced the iron ones we have. Steel knife. Steel hatchet. Another box. Fine iron hatchet and what is this? Copper javelin. I've never used a javelin before. Let's try that out too. Oops, I'll leave that behind. You saw that. Cool. So that was neat. Um, I'm gonna rearm myself in case that cougar comes back. I, I don't know where it went off to, but kind of good riddance. I, I, I would have liked to have skinned that cougar pelt. I was kind of looking forward to doing that, and then I died. Man, it was really super close too. But all right, um, that's that's the episode. I mean, if you if you enjoyed watching. <laughs> Um, please like and, and subscribe. Um, hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you in the next one. And, you know, <laughs> before I go, I just noticed I got back home. Poor Alpo is dead. Apparently he died of thirst while I was away. Um, so, I'm going to chop him up. I guess I don't get any horse meat. Oh well. I just thought I'd show you what happened. It's too bad. I'll have to get another horse.